Hey guys, welcome to Game and Watch It. Today, we're going to be repairing the Game Boy Color speaker. Back in 98, my birthday wish came true. I got Game Boy Color in Dandelion Yellow. There was a lot to be excited for. It had twice the power of the Game Boy and all the charm of the NES. I recently busted out my Game Boy Color, and to my surprise, the speaker had been blown. The volume of the speaker is very low. It's also rumbling for some reason. It's not in very good shape. So today I'm going to show you how to replace an old corroded Game Boy Color speaker with a brand new DS Lite speaker. The things you will need are a Game Boy Color, a broken DS Lite plus its two speakers, a tri-wing screwdriver. These will be difficult to find at your local hardware store. I suggest you buy it online. The smallest Phillips screwdriver you can find, I'm using a number double zero, a needle nose plier, a soldering iron, a box cutter, and an air can if you have one. Let's get started. Flip your Game Boy Color over. Grab your tri-ring screwdriver and unscrew the six screws located here, 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 and two hiding under the battery cover. Now take the back plate off to reveal the motherboard. Grab your Phillips and unscrew the three screws located here, here, and here. You can see the speaker has been badly corroded. Next, you want to detach the motherboard from the casing. The only thing holding them together is this ribbon. It's currently locked in place by these two tabs. Get a flathead screwdriver and flick the tabs up. With the case in one hand and the motherboard in the other, carefully pull them apart. It's time to heat up the soldering iron. Let's unsolder the speaker. Once your iron is hot, place the tip of the iron on these points of contact. The speaker will detach from the wires. Now, grab your DS light speaker and get ready to solder. With your iron, attach this wire to this point and this wire to this point. This is my first time soldering, so bear with me. Now's a good time to clean out your Game Boy with the air can. The DS speaker wasn't made for the Game Boy Color, so it won't fit. Not to worry. Get your box cutter and gently mark where the DS speaker sticks out. Cut down the wall where the battery rests. Use your pliers to twist the wall off to create an opening. There we go. Fits like a glove. Connect the ribbon, don't forget to lock it in with the two tabs. Screw the motherboard in, then the back case in. Let's try it out. Now that's how the Game Boy Color should sound. The DS light speaker in the Game Boy Color makes all the difference. It's much crisper and clearer because the DS Lite came out two generations after the Game Boy Color. You go, Kirby. I'm Rusty Rob, and you just game and watched it.